morning so far. Uh, gym, office quick, drop some stuff off, change, do that thing. Now off to Campus Corner for breakfast. Okay, hey, Jordy, tell us what happened today. I skipped my class this morning because I didn't feel good. And how's that make you feel? Guilty, like now I have a quiz to do that's due Monday and I'm not gonna know how to do it because I wasn't in class. And I'm gonna fail out of this class and then I'm gonna fail out of college and it's gonna be a mess. All right, well, brighter days ahead, Jordy. I bought this for my phone in the car, so I don't use my phone in the car and I can look at it for GPS. And I just told Jordan I bought it because I was going to Uber. Maybe. Maybe I'll Uber. You should. Make a little extra Uber XL. Money, yeah. That's it. I need that Christmas spending money. If you were to look at a map, um, we're in Plattsburgh, New York. So if you want, I mean, you can Google it, but it's basically the most northeast you can get in New York State. Uh, we're probably only around 80,000 people in total. So, I mean, it's a pretty rural area. I fully understand the idea of supply and demand through brand. You build your, you know, the, the idea of your expertise and, and knowledge base and now people want to use you because of the stuff that you're pushing out. Um, and sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. I, I went to a, a little coaching or a little like mastermind group back in New Jersey or in New Jersey back in October. Um, so that was a good thing to kind of go and bounce ideas off people and you know again implement stuff that I, I thought was useful or relevant for me. One of our slogans that we've kind of trademarked that is now becoming popular is local matters. So because again we're in a very small area, and that's a big like all my social media posts. That's all the only I put hashtag local matters and a lot of it is like it's become that's been like a brand subset of us. So I got like seven questions for the Ask Allen for Ask Allen. Okay. And I didn't actually print off the other ones, so we we're gonna have to probably just go with some of the new questions. Yeah, well, I'm gonna be cold, so you better talk fast. I'll talk fast. I got gloves too, Jordy, if you want. If you want to wear gloves. Mm -hmm. Um, I told you I went to Maui North the other day, and hashtag local matters. And I went and got skis. Let me and also say that I'm the one that told you to go to Maui North. No, 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 no. Another person told me they were having a sale. So remind me to do this, Jordy, because on the way back. Maui North, I won the door prize for Sunday. Okay. Want me to go then? Yep. Let me know if you're rolling. Hey everybody, uh, next Sunday, so December 1st uh, from 11 to 3 p.m., uh, as you guys know, we're hosting a client appreciation event here at the Beartown Tree Farm. Northern New York, nice snowy day. Um, actually, it's really nice, Re really pretty uh, winter day, even though it's mid-November and this is about a month early. Yep. Jules, you can't, you can't ruin the vlog right now because you're not going to look at me. Why am I on this thing? Because you, you look like the best salesperson WPTC has ever seen. We are just coming oh, to really say nice hi. I'm just filming Paul. We're just hearing your voice, but Paul, actually, the voice here. So uh, what right. is this song? Paulie D, give, give us, give us your, uh, give, give us your, um, I don't know. Say something motivational for the people. Well, I'm glad to be here at Kavanaugh Realty in the beautiful Lake Champlain Shores. Uh, it's a little snow outside, and that's why we like it here in the North Country. We're kind of <laughs> used to this weather, so looking forward to having a nice conversation, and hope you all have a great day. Thank you, Tom Messer. You can put those two together. Right there. What do you mean? The bench and that, and then the rest of them. One, two, three, four. You can pick, pick two of those, so we'll do three total. Welcome to Ask Galen, episode three. Come here, folks. Look at this. Come here, folks. You didn't need to get a velvet couch. I got a green couch. It's 
velvet. All right, so the first day I get a velvet couch, what does Jordan do? She comes here, she sits down with a sub to eat a sub on the couch. I said, Jordan, do not eat on the couch because you're gonna leave crumbs. Jordan, mid, mid eating goes like this. I'm putting my coffee down, because again, no food or drinks on the couch. Goes like this, I'm not leaving any. Sorry. That's exactly what she did day one, so Jordy is not lo no longer allowed to eat. And then I get Ellie in here, and then Ellie gives me sass and does the same thing, so. Don't eat on the couch. Ellie actually looks at me and eats, and then says, what are you gonna do about it? So, Ellie, I'm coming for you. What Don't... are you gonna do about it? Hmm? What are you gonna do about it? Fire her. <laughs> yeah. Big box for Yay! a notepad and Christmas lights. So... <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> what age did your eyes stop growing? Oh. It's 20 or 21. <laughs> yeah, so Galen actually thought eyes didn't grow. Someone told me, there's, some, there's something that doesn't, there's something that, I really, someone told me that. That, that should have went for my myth video instead of saying like the tooth fairy or something. Given us a clear that we can now, the deal is ready to close up. And then we wait for a closing date from the attorneys. Mm -hmm. Then once I have the closing date from the attorneys, I will schedule a walkthrough. Um, on the contract, you are entitled as a buyer to a final walkthrough. And basically, I do it the day of. Some agents do it a few days ahead of time. Um, I try to do it as close to closing as possible just to make sure that there's no damage between walkthrough and closing. So what happens is we go make sure I'll personal properties there, that there's no damage to the house, that all the appliances and heat and electric work, all the water's running and working. Um, and we just go basically one last time, go through the property, make sure everything's good to go. Mike Foot for call Mike Foot for a good time. So we're eating Chipotle and Meg, who makes fun of me way too much, is now getting Han Han on the bandwagon. Han, what'd you just say? Oh, so Meg, so Meg say that <laughs> Galen hate being mocked for being skinny and he want to be muscular. And then, yeah, he pulled out the calendar and he told me that, yeah, he woke up for two hours. And I'll be like, oh, you woke up for two hours? And he'd be like, oh yeah, that's the total time. And I'll be like, and you can't even get muscular? <laughs> and have you seen his face? This is his face. <laughs> They cannot hang out anymore. Han, <laughs> you're fired. <laughs> oh. I've got a wolf of Meg then. Yeah? You're on the vlog today. I'm on the vlog today? Good. And what are you doing here? I'm here for the... Well, I'm here to get food, but I'm also here to uh, donate, I guess, to AMA. You gotta say AMA at the registry. Registry. Yeah, I know. Registry. Registry. Register. 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 I say this is episode 14. Oh. See you all next week. Episode 14. See you all next week. I have heavy accent.